الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونستهديه ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهد الله هو المهتد ومن يضلل فلن تجد له وليا مرشدا واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له اشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وسلم اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم الا ان اولياء الله لا خوف عليهم ولا هم يحزنون الذين امنوا وكانوا يتقون Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says verily indeed the friends of Allah, the companions of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they have no fears. Those who truly believe you have to have the faith, we have to increase and ask Allah to enable us to act upon that which increases faith, such as patience, such as modesty such as humility, such as sincerity, such as righteousness. We have to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for that, to help us increase our country. And because alladhina amanu wa kanu yattaqoon and they used to be pious, pious Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promises lahum what they will have on the earth. Bushra, victory. When the real pious one is in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, only sees one of two paradise. Or that the mission is accomplished. The da'wah of effort is accomplished. The zakat sadaqah is accomplished. Increasing the ties of kinship is accomplished. Spreading the word of Islam is accomplished. It does not matter if the life is the last one. It doesn't matter if the breath is the last that they take. Because they will search for paradise anyway. That's the necessity. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also says, فَلَا تَخَافُوهُمْ And who meaning for awliya as shaytan? Do not be afraid of the friends of the shaytan. They're only trying to get you to deceive yourself. They're trying to get you to sell your akhira for this dunya. Do not let them do it. Do not let them make you fearful of other than Allah. Like one individual says, if you don't fear Allah, fear me. Do not let them do it. Do not let them take you off of fearing Allah and Allah alone. Do not let them take you off the path of expecting and hoping and relying in Allah and Allah alone. The moment you associate that alone with somebody else, that is the that is the paganistic side of it. Then you have committed polytheism. Do not do it. Because once that action is done, whatever else comes after that is all in the hellfire. You acting because you're fearful of the allies of the shayateen. After Allah Ta'ala told you don't do it. And you're acting, and even when the guidance or even when the reminder comes to you, you're persistent in acting in sin. You're undermining your religious commitment. And finally, Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Ana Madinatul Ilm, I am the city of knowledge. Wa Ana, Wa Ali, Babuha, and Ali is the door to the city of knowledge. If you do not know the door, then how can you even get inside of the city? 
Ali is important, the military ideology as it's known specifies that he was before the Khalifa. And because he was the fourth Khalifa, he witnessed all prior legacies or all prior errors. The weight of that, him being the first youth to embrace Al Islam at the age of nine, also speaks volumes. Look at how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala raised our heroes, those who will never be outdone in reputation, in legacy. No matter how many American, Western heroes you have, they will never be able to outdo. Jibreel alayhi salatu wa salam, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The legacy. Over because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put righteousness in the truth of one man, whilst the others created their own. So these were the things in which once we have come to term and we fall in an organized fashion, then we will find Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's assistance in our actions. We will find Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's aid in everything that we are involved in. But when we think that there is something better than what Allah is offering to us, we think that there is something better than Jannah. When we think that there is something better than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's assistance, although we look at how no one can stop the hurricane, no one can stop the pandemic, no one can stop the earthquake, and all of these other atrocities, all of these other calamities that take place. But we're supposed to be fearful of the friends of the shaitan. If you really are encouraging righteousness, that is to help out everyone in the path of righteousness. You're doing it in the salah. All of us. If you are subduing falsehood, that is to annoy the hypocrites. It must. But if it's not working out that way, then something is wrong with us. Nothing is wrong with the message. Nothing was wrong with how the message was. قولوا قولي هذا واستغفر الله لي ولكم ولسائر المسلمين واستغفره إنه هو التواب الرحيم استغفر الله استغفر اللهم اهدنا في من هديت وعافنا في من عافيت وتولنا في من توليت وبارك لنا فيما اعطيت وقنا واصرف عنا برحمتك شر ما قضيت انك تقضي ولا يقضى عليك انه لا يذل من واليك ولا يعز من عديك تبارك ربنا وتعاليك لك الحمد على ما قضيت ولك الشكر على ما اعطيت نستغفرك اللهم لجميع الذنوب والخطايا ولكل الذنب اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى ال سيدنا محمد